Hello, Aquarius. It's the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in to another love reading for the month of February before we close out. All right. So I hope you all had a beautiful, blessed birthday month. Okay. Um, some of you are still celebrating. I totally understand. And, um, I hope it's been great for you guys as we head into this new season, as we head into this new, um, astrological, uh, energy of Pisces. Okay. So. This is where I take a look at what's going on in your love life to see what's uh what's going on around you, what's happening for you in a connection, who you could be connected to. Um, and this is where I take a look at um just connection specific messages. I do have Aquarius singles readings available on Patreon only. So if you are interested um on in looking at individual messages for you, not messages that are centered on connections, there are um singles readings available for all the zodiac signs on Patreon. So you can take a look at the link in the description box if you're interested. Also, if you need a personal reading, because general readings are too general for you. Make sure you check out the link in the description box and I will have information about how you can book a reading with me. So let's get into your love life and see what's going on for you. Aquarius placement, sun, moon, Venus rising. Also, any other area in your chart that's Aquarius that resonates for you. What's going on with Aquarius? Thank you so much. Friendship. There is a bond between you and someone. Very strong the bond here. Commitment. Trust. Okay. So basically, true love, whatever level of connection you're at, it's about to get heightened. So your friends, y'all are attracted to each other. I think there's about to be a conversation about what if we dated. If you're dating... What if we were exclusive? If you're exclusive, what if we get married? So there's a, a higher level of commitment coming in for a lot of you. This will be based on true love, right? It's not based on somebody gaming somebody. It's not based on somebody manipulating anything. It's not based on, you know, I just feel like um, I don't want to be alone. No, this is about real love coming in or already here for you in a connection. And so for a lot of Aquarius energies, you're enjoying a relationship that feels like it is sincerely the love of your life, your soulmate, the person you're going to build with, the person you're going to keep building with. And that feels like it started from a very strong bond where you guys got to know each other, where you took the time to really, really learn each other. And now y'all are all in love and things feel like they're about to expand. So let's take a look at why we have friendship for Aquarius. Ace of Swords. <laughs> so I feel like there's a lot of confirmation you're getting right now in words. There is a possibility that you guys had a great Valentine's Day. And so that was your confirmation right there that this person really wants to be with you or wants to take things to the next level with you. I feel like there's a big chance a lot of you are connecting to someone who recently told you how they felt about you or is about to with that Ace of Swords. They're about to be real about their feelings. This is where the conversation comes in. Death. I don't want things to stay as they are. I want us to move forward. I want us to go to the next level. It's time for us both <laughs> to get out of the friend zone with one another. It's time for this casual stuff to stop. Let's commit. Let's invest. Let's be with each other officially. Okay. So we have commitment. Um, the person you are dealing with wants to be married. That is their desire to marry you. Nine of swords. I feel like this is something they are afraid of, but they are not going to let that fear stop them because I got the ten of cups right here. <laughs> so um, look, this person may be even afraid to ask you to marry them. What does that look like to you? Right. So you may be dealing with a person who's afraid to have um, what are we, who are we together? Like, what's the next level of our com of our commitment? Um, you're very powerful. You're very strong. Your person feels like <laughs> sometimes they're in the way of all your greatness, but 
they want to be with you on that journey. And so they may have a little bit of trepidation about asking you to the next level, but they don't feel like that's going to stop them. What's the nine of swords with commitment? Yep, they're about to ask you, Knight of Pentacles. I think they've been waiting for a long time. They are definitely going to ask you, the Emperor. This person really wants to be with you long term. A Knight of Pentacles has the capacity to do it. The Emperor actually does it. So this person has been faithful. The person you're connected to has been um, honest with you about what they want out of this. I don't feel like they've played any games with you at all in this energy. This is somebody that doesn't even have the time for all of that. They work, you know, they don't need attention. They're a boss themselves. They admire your strength. This person wants a partner and they're picking up that you're the perfect person for them to settle down with, even if they're a little scared. To ask you, they're going to ask you to settle down with them. So this is a pretty clear cut reading. Um, not a lot of confusion here. Not a lot of, I mean, I don't know. It's it it feels very clear. This person has been waiting a long time to make a big move towards you, and this feels like the big move is some sort of higher level of commitment that is closing out whatever you have now and taking it to the next level. Trust. Um, what's happening in your love life, Aquarius, is it feels like you love the, this person. It's a mutual energy. You guys both love each other. I think you guys are past like trust issues, loyalty issues. It's been proven. Yeah. Yeah. Something about Aquarius season with the star here confirmed everything. Confirmed, like maybe you needed more confirmation that they loved you. That happened during Aquarius season. Maybe you need a confirmation that they weren't seeing anybody else. That confirmation happened during Aquarius season and so forth, right? Whatever it was that you may have had doubts about, it feels like it was confirmed in the past couple of days and weeks that this is real. This person is not playing with you. This person is serious about having a life with you. And it feels like they've shown you in tangible, real, um, beneficial ways that you're the person they're investing in. The only person they're investing in. What's the star? There it is. The emperor confirming that energy. I feel like this person is about to ask. <laughs> so this is the princess of cups, which is sometimes a question. And um, so I immediately picked up somebody saying, will you be my girlfriend? But it doesn't have to be that, right? It can be this person just, do you really want to be with me? Do you really want to make this work? Do you really want to live with me? Right? Something like that. This person asks the question to you. You're in the position to sort of answer, which is why they're so intimidated. Right. It's like uh planning this whole thing to ask, like to propose to someone and ask them when they marry you and having to face the, the 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 fact that they may say no. So this person doesn't feel like they're afraid of rejection. They're just afraid to stand before you and take this next step. But I do feel like they're going to do it. They got confirmation during Aquarius season. They trust their gut. You're the one and they're about to ask you to be the one for them permanently. <laughs> and however they ask you, you guys got an Aries here, a Virgo here, Scorpio. Um, now I don't feel Scorpio very strongly. I feel more Aries, Earth, maybe another air sign. Let me just clarify this death. Queen of Wands with the death here. Definitely still coming through as you're the only one this person wants to be with. But I feel like there may be a Scorpio for some Aquarius is here. That Scorpio feels like, um, I think they just want you because they don't want somebody else to have you. Whereas the person that's showing up here, this mature energy, this very uh, smooth energy wants you because they genuinely love you. They want you to live a free life. They don't want to control you or own you. They want to be your partner. I feel like if there's a Scorpio you're dealing with Aquarius, 
They just may not want nobody else to have you. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Remember, if you're interested in single specific readings, that is available for gold and platinum tiers on Patreon. I thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in that personal reading, check out the details in the description box.